Hi everyone. In this video, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to solve a problem that I had uh, as one of the problems of the quiz in the industrial automation course Drop 308 in the uh, Nazarbayev University. In it. So the problem is like this. The students should write a letter logic diagram program that will allow performing the following functions. There are two normally open limit switches as the input devices and there is one motor and one pilot lamp as the output device assuming that the limit switches are initially open we want to have these situations when both limit switches are closed we want to have the motor running one minute after closing the switches and during this one minute pilot lamp should flash like one second on one second off and then the pilot lamp will remain turned on. So after one minute both time pilot lamp and motor should remain turned on and uh, during the first one minute pilot lamp should flash and motor will be turned off. The second thing is when one of the switches is closed and the other one is open LS01 and LS02 motor runs for three minutes and during these three minutes pilot lamp flashes and then both of them turn off and whenever both of the limit switches are open the motor and pilot lamp will turn off so I already have prepared uh, the project here indeed so here we have the uh, area in which variables are declared limit switch 0, 1, 0, 2, motor and pilot lamp as the boolean variables and in the visualization I have created a very simple visualization in which we have two limit switches. Uh, I have uh, two switches for LS01 and LS02 and I have two pilot lamps, one for motor and the other one for the pilot lamp. In the program. So we can do this in this way indeed. Once both of the limit switches are closed we want to have the motor turning on after uh, let me go back again to the problem when both of the limit switches are closed we want to turn on the motor after one minute so here instead of one minute I have used 10 seconds because I want to, I don't want you to wait until this time is passed so after 10 seconds we want to have the motor turning on and we can do it using th this combination yeah we have the on delay timer with preset time of 10 seconds receives input from the combination of LS01 and LS02 in series with each other and after 10 seconds the down mid or Q output of the on delay timer will become true and as a result the motor will be able to turn on for the pilot lamp we want to have flashing during the one minute one, the 10 second indeed so during the 10 seconds the Q of timer is false as a result we don't have this pass and since it is false we will have true for this instruction and this is this contact here the done with of timer 1 which I will show you shortly will be flashing as a result the pilot lamp will flash after 10 seconds is passed the Q of timer 0 will become true and as a result through this pass the pilot lamp should turn on forever until we have these two, two contacts here of course uh, closed so let's see what do we have for timer t on underline one so I have these two timers here t on underline one and t on underline two the combination of these two provides us the flashing behavior in it so you can see here that the output of first timer is used as the input of second timer and vice versa with the negation here so this is something that you can try to see how does it work as the second option that we had we want to have whenever one of the switches is closed so it's what we have here checking that limit switch 0 1 is closed and second one is open or the other way in either case what we want to have is that we want to have the motor being turned on for three minutes here I have used 20 seconds instead and afterwards it will turn off and at the same time the pilot lamp 
uh, will flash during those 20 seconds and then it will turn off and that's something that we can obtain through this piece of the code in it because during the 20 seconds output of the timer is false as a result here we will have true and we can have motor turned on and pilot lamp flashing because of this output of this timer t on under line 1 so apparently this should work because we have both options here but I can indeed log in and run the code and you will see that it doesn't work in the way that we expect so let's just wait for logging in now we have it here alright so we are in the RAM mode I can since both of the inputs are uh, now they are true but I can just change their value to false both of the inputs are false the outputs are turned off and that makes sense now we have two situations in one situation we want to have one of the outputs turned on and the other one turned off so I can just change the state of the first one during these 20 seconds the motor will be turned on and the pilot lamp will flash and after 20 seconds has passed both of them will turn off and that's what you can see here from the second rung of the program yeah? so here we have true signal here the timer is activated and now the timer is done as a result its output is true here we have false and both of them are turned off it's okay so now check what we have when both of the inputs are true so if I turn this on as well we have both of the inputs on here as a result the timer is activated during this time during the, the 10 seconds we were expecting the pilot time to turn on and off and we were expecting motor to be off and after 10 seconds motor should turn on and that's what we should have here in it so these are true this is true so the motor should turn on but it's not so what, what's the problem here something that you should keep in mind is that we have this motor coil in two rungs rung number one and rung number two the program is executed from top to down as a result in the first part we have got motor true but then when the second rung is executed since we don't have logic continuity motor will turn off and the second one will be peaked in it so this will prevent indeed the execution of the first rung of the code in the way that we have we can change the order so we can program this this piece at the beginning and then have the first rung afterwards and in that case you will see that only the second one will be executed properly and not the first one so again you can see here that the order in which the rungs are uh, put is important especially when we have coils which are set or uh, determined uh, based on the inputs uh, are present in our program now in the next project I will explain you how to deal with this in one way let me just close this project and open the other one which I have already prepared and I will explain you over there uh, alright so here I have I have exactly the same visualization but I have modified the code in some way uh, okay I guess I need yeah now you can see it I have modified the code by introducing some intermediate variables I have motor internal variable 0 1 motor internal variable 0 2 and for pilot lamp as well I have pilot lamp interval variable uh, okay 0 1 0 2 and 0 3 uh, wait a moment I just need to do some some other in this modification let me just explain you what are the changes that I have done here introducing those in internal variables that you can see here what I have done is that here I'm setting uh, indeed I'm determining the coil as motor 
internal variable 0 1 for the first rung and for the, in the second rung I'm using another variable motor internal variable 0 2 and at the end of the program I'm just putting these into the OR configuration and determining the state of the motor output and for the pilot lamp as well here I have pilot lamp internal variable 0 1 and pilot lamp internal variable 0 2 so this is exactly similar to the previous case however instead of motor and pilot lamp I have these two variables and at the end I'm determining the state of the pilot lamp by putting these two into parallel with each other and as a result you can see that if I run a code you will see that this time I have uh, the project working as expected when both of the inputs are false the outputs are false if I change both of them in, uh, to true that's what you can see here now pilot lamp flashes and after 10 seconds the pilot lamp will turn on and motor will turn on and that's what you have what you can see here and if you pay attention here you have the motor and pilot lamp receiving signal from these passes now if I turn off one of the inputs the motor will remain on for 20 seconds during these 20 seconds pilot lamp will flash and afterwards both of them will turn off and you can see that yeah how the pilot lamp receives signal and now both of them are turned off uh, all right i think that this is all for this video i hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned how to deal with the uh, with such a case in which you are determining the value of a variable in different rungs of the code and in such cases the order in which you put you place the, the rungs is uh, important I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time in